Today is Galaxy S23 day. Pre-orders are live and uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. Today, today is Galaxy S23 pre-order day and I did manage to pre-order the Galaxy S23 Ultra from Samsung, but I have to say it is kind of a bummer guys, definitely a bummer. Um, first and foremost, you are able to pre-order this right now. So if you were to go to Samsung and pre-order the Galaxy S23, you can do so, pre-orders are live. And estimated shipping date or receivable is going to be February 17th is what I got. But I am bummed out about the deals that they got on Samsung. Now, first and foremost, they were way better than last year. Pre-order was not that bad. It, everything went through just fine. It took a while for the pre-orders to come live, I think at 12 o'clock. And then finally around 12.30 or 1 o'clock, things got live and then all the links were starting to work for it so that's fantastic no crashes no nothing definitely not as bad as it was last year but the thing is trade-in deals aren't as good as they have been in the past last year they were offering up to a thousand dollars for trade-ins like if you had an older uh ultra or something like that they were giving you a lot of money for trade-in this year you're only getting up to five hundred dollars with your trade-in if you were to trade in a galaxy s22 ultra they're only giving you 500 dollars for this that is not that great guys that is kind of questionable and honestly i'm thinking about maybe canceling my order i don't know you guys help me out comment down below on whether or not i should cancel this but they are giving you the free upgrade in storage when it comes down to the s23 ultra so you're essentially getting it uh, for the same price for 512 gigabytes, uh, the same price as a 256, so that's pretty cool. But $500 for trading in this guy right here is kind of questionable. This is a fantastic device, and the S23 Ultra is almost the same thing as this. Better cameras or the newer processor, it's going to be essentially the same. The only difference is you're going to have more of a boxier design. And these two camera sensors right here are going to be flush with the design. Other than that, going to be the same when it comes down to this one. This is the 256. So yes, I'm getting an upgrade to 512, but still $500 is kind of a letdown. $699 to pre-order the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Last year, I traded in an S21 Fan Edition, and I believe they gave me more than $500. I was able to get this phone for like $600, maybe a little bit less, but still a fantastic deal. And that was a fan edition. This is an ultra and they're still only giving you up to $500. Yes, you could get up to $1,000 if you're on T-Mobile, but only on the Magenta Max plan. That plan is kind of expensive. Not everybody has that plan. So that is going to be the highest, but it's up to $1,000 on T-Mobile. You could check out those deals on Samsung as well. They will uh, they do have links for the carriers as far as upgrading through them too. But $500 instant credit for a phone like this, which is pretty much the same thing and still a beast, by the way, is kind of a letdown. Now, it does show shipping uh, to be get it by February 17th, so that's cool. I did order in a cream color. And uh, as far as accessories go, I didn't get anything right now. But they're only giving you $100 worth of Samsung credit. Last year, they gave you $200 worth of Samsung credit. So I do think that they are getting a little bit stingy as time goes by with these pre-orders and these gifts that they're giving you. If you're able to reserve, yeah, they gave you an extra $50. But still, $100 compared to $200 last year was well, kind of a just kind of a letdown for this pre-order. I was excited for it. I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to get an S23 for like two, $300 out of pocket. That is not the case. They're only giving you $500 trade-in credit 
for a phone like this, which is pretty much still a beast. And that kind of bummed me out today. I am a little bit bummed out. And honestly, I don't know if I should cancel my order and just keep this or continue on. And the only reason why I'm getting it is to cover it here on the channel. If you're the average consumer like you guys, I would consider just holding on to your S22 Ultra for now. See if there are any other good deals come out later on. But as for me, this is what we do. We cover phones. And honestly, I am still a little bit skeptical. So I would appreciate if you guys could comment down below whether or not I should keep my order or cancel my order. And maybe look at something else. We got the OnePlus 11 coming out soon as well. So maybe I should just hold off on that. I don't know. Your input would be greatly appreciated, guys. So that's pretty much it. Stay tuned. I will be doing updates like I did last year as far as shipping dates and when everything starts to get shipped out and things like that. And when I receive my phone, if I do keep it, I will be doing updates just like that. Have you guys input on whether or not your device has been shipped out and things like that. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it here on Sick Care Tech. You guys have a great day. Peace.